Bulgarian listen, Bulgarian, Blarsky Balgarsky, pronounced Bursky, is an Indo-European language, a member of the southern branch of the Slavic language family. Bulgarian, along with the closely related Macedonian language collectively forming the East-South Slavic languages, has several characteristics that set it apart from all other Slavic languages. Changes include the elimination of case declension, the development of a suffixed definite article see Balkan language area, and the lack of a verb infinitive, but it retains and has further developed the Proto-Slavic verb system. Various evidential verb forms exist to express unwitnessed, retold, and doubtful action. With the accession of Bulgaria to the European Union on 1 January 2007, Bulgarian became one of the official languages of the European Union. History One can divide the development of the Bulgarian language into several periods. The prehistoric period covers the time between the Slavonic migration to the Eastern Balkans c. 7th century CE and the mission of Saints Cyril and Methodius to Great Moravia in the 860s. Old Bulgarian 9th to 11th centuries, also referred to as Old Church Slavonic, a literary norm of the early southern dialect of the common Slavic language from which Bulgarian evolved. Saints Cyril and Methodius and their disciples used this norm when translating the Bible and other liturgical literature from Greek into Slavic. Middle Bulgarian 12th to 15th centuries, a literary norm that evolved from the earlier Old Bulgarian, after major innovations occurred. A language of rich literary activity, it served as the official administration language of the Second Bulgarian Empire. Modern Bulgarian dates from the 16th century onwards, undergoing general grammar and syntax changes in the 18th and 19th centuries. Present-day written Bulgarian language was standardized on the basis of the 19th century Bulgarian vernacular. The historical development of the Bulgarian language can be described as a transition from a highly synthetic language Old Bulgarian to a typical analytic language Modern Bulgarian with Middle Bulgarian as a midpoint in this transition. Bulgarian was the first Slavic language attested in writing. As Slavic linguistic unity lasted into late antiquity, the oldest manuscripts initially referred to this language was as Azik Slovansk, the Slavic language. In the Middle Bulgarian period, this name was gradually replaced by the name Azik Blursk, the Bulgarian language. In some cases, the name Azik Blursk was used not only with regard to the contemporary Middle Bulgarian language of the copyist but also to the period of Old Bulgarian. A most notable example of anachronism is the service of St. Cyril from Skopje, Skopsky Minej a 13th-century Middle Bulgarian manuscript from northern Macedonia according to which St. Cyril preached with Bulgarian books among the Moravian Slavs. The first mention of the language is the Bulgarian language instead of the Slavonic language comes in the work of the Greek clergy of the Bulgarian Archbishopric of Ohrid in the 11th century, for example in the Greek hagiography of Saint Clement of Ohrid by Theophylact of Ohrid late 11th century. During the Middle Bulgarian period, the language underwent dramatic changes, losing the Slavonic case system, but preserving the rich verb system while the development was exactly the opposite in other Slavic languages and developing a definite article. It was influenced by its non-Slavic neighbors in the Balkan language area mostly grammatically and later also by Turkish, which was the official language of the Ottoman Empire, in the form of the Ottoman Turkish language, mostly lexically. As a national revival occurred toward the end of the period of Ottoman rule mostly during the 19th century, a modern Bulgarian literary language gradually emerged that drew heavily on Church Slavonic, Old Bulgarian and to some extent on literary Russian, which had preserved many lexical items from Church Slavonic and later reduced the number of Turkish and other Balkan loans. Today one difference between Bulgarian dialects in the country and literary spoken Bulgarian is the significant presence of Old Bulgarian words and even word forms in the latter. Russian loans are distinguished from Old Bulgarian ones on the basis of the presence of specifically Russian phonetic changes, as in Oborit turnover, Rev, Nepanotin incomprehensible, Odro nucleus and others. As usual in such cases, many other loans from French, English and the classical languages have subsequently entered the language as well. Modern Bulgarian was based essentially on the Eastern dialects of the language, but its pronunciation is in many respects a compromise between East and West Bulgarian see especially the phonetic sections below. 
Following the efforts of some figures of the National Awakening of Bulgaria, most notably Neofit Rilski and Ivan Bogorov, there had been many attempts to codify a standard Bulgarian language, however, there was much argument surrounding the choice of norms. Between 1835 and 1878 more than 25 proposals were put forward and «linguistic chaos» ensued. Eventually the Eastern dialects prevailed. And in 1899 the Bulgarian Ministry of Education officially codified a standard Bulgarian language based on the Drinov Ivanchev orthography. Dialects <inaudible> 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 The language is mainly split into two broad dialect areas, based on the different reflexes of the common Slavic yacht vowel. This split, which occurred at some point during the Middle Ages, led to the development of Bulgaria's Western dialects informally called Tverd Gover, Tvurd Gover, hard speech. The former yacht is pronounced e in all positions, e.g. maleko, maleko milk, haleb haleb bread. Eastern dialects informally called Mekgover, Mekgover, soft speech. The former yacht alternates between ya and e. It is pronounced ya if it is under stress and the next syllable does not contain a front vowel e or i, e.g. malako, malyako, halab, halayab, and e. Otherwise, e.g. maleker, maleker, milkman, holbar, holbar, baker. This rule obtains in most Eastern dialects, although some have ya or a special open e sound in all positions. The literary language norm, which is generally based on the Eastern dialects, also has the Eastern alternating reflex of yat. However, it has not incorporated the general Eastern umlaut of all synchronic or even historic ya sounds into e before front vowels, e.g. polana Pollyanna versus poleni Pollyanna. Meadow, meadows, or even zaba, zaba versus zebi, jebi, frog, frogs. Even though it co-occurs with the yat alternation in almost all eastern dialects that have it, except a few dialects along the yat border, e.g. in the Pleven region. More examples of the yat umlaut in the literary language are malyako, milk, n, maleker, milkman, malechin, milky, etc. Siadam sit vb sadalka seat settlished seat eg of government etc svyat holy adj svetits saint svetilished sanctuary etc in this example ya e comes not from historical yat but from small yas which normally becomes e in bulgarian but the word was influenced by russian and the yat umlaut until 1945 bulgarian orthography did not reveal this alternation and used the original old slavic cyrillic letter yat which was commonly called Devojno e, Devojno e at the time, to express the historical yacht vowel or at least root vowels displaying the ya e alternation. The letter was used in each occurrence of such a root, regardless of the actual pronunciation of the vowel, thus, both Malyako and Malekar were spelled with Among other things, this was seen as a way to reconcile the Western and the Eastern dialects and maintain language unity at a time when much of Bulgaria's Western dialect area was controlled by Serbia and Greece, but there were still hopes and occasional attempts to recover it. With the 1945 orthographic reform, this letter was abolished and the present spelling was introduced, reflecting the alternation in pronunciation. This had implications for some grammatical constructions. The third-person plural pronoun and its derivatives. Before 1945 the pronoun, they, was spelled t, t, and its derivatives took this as the root. After the orthographic change, the pronoun and its derivatives were given an equal share of soft and hard spellings. They, te, te, them, ta, taya, theirs, tayan, mask, tayana, fem, tayano, newt, teni, plur. Adjectives received the same treatment as t. Whole, seal. The whole. Selayat mask, sulata, fem, sealoto, newt, selite, plur. Sometimes, with the changes, words began to be spelled as other words with different meanings, e.g., Sivat svet, world, became svat, svyat, spelt and pronounced the same as svat, holy. T te, they. Became te, te. In spite of the literary norm regarding the yacht vowel, many people living in western Bulgaria, including the capital Sofia, will fail to observe its rules. 
While the norm requires the realizations Vidyal versus Videli he has seen, they have seen, some natives of Western Bulgaria will preserve their local dialect pronunciation with e for all instances of yat, e.g. Vital, Videli. Others, attempting to adhere to the norm, will actually use the ya sound even in cases where the standard language has e, e.g. Vidyal, Vidyali. The latter hypercorrection is called svrhakane sv ra yakane approximately equals over yain. Shift from j to Bulgarian is the only Slavic language whose literary standard does not naturally contain the iotated sound j or its palatalized variant, except in non-Slavic foreign loaned words. The sound is common in all modern Slavic languages, e.g. Czech medved, mdvjaint, bear, Polish peak, p, five. Serbo-Croatian Jelen, Jelen, deer. Ukrainian Nemai, Nemij, there is not. Macedonian Pisuvain, Piuva, writing, etc., as well as some Western Bulgarian dialectal forms, e.g. Oran, E.O. Ra, Standard Bulgarian, Orain Oran, plowing. However it is not represented in Standard Bulgarian speech or writing. Even where, j, occurs in other Slavic words, in Standard Bulgarian it is usually transcribed and pronounced as pure, e.g. Boris Yeltsin as Eltsin, Boris Elson Yekaterinburg as Ekaterinburg, Ekaterinburg and Sarajevo as Sarajevo, Sarajevo although, because the sound is contained in a stressed syllable at the beginning of the word, Yelena Yankovic as Yelena. Yelena Ankovic. Topic. Relationship to Macedonian Until the period immediately following the Second World War, all Bulgarian and the majority of foreign linguists referred to the South Slavic dialect continuum spanning the area of modern Bulgaria, the Republic of Macedonia and parts of northern Greece as a group of Bulgarian dialects. In contrast, Serbian sources tended to label them South Serbian dialects. Some local naming conventions included Bulgarski, Bugarski and so forth. The codifiers of the standard Bulgarian language, however, did not wish to make any allowances for a pluricentric Bulgaro-Macedonian compromise. After 1944 the People's Republic of Bulgaria and the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia began a policy of making Macedonia into the connecting link for the establishment of a new Balkan Federative Republic and stimulating here a development of distinct Slav-Macedonian consciousness. With the proclamation of the Socialist Republic of Macedonia as part of the Yugoslav Federation, the new authorities also started measures that would overcome the pro-Bulgarian feeling among parts of its population and in 1945 a separate Macedonian language was codified. After 1958, when the pressure from Moscow decreased, Sofia reverted to the view that the Macedonian language did not exist as a separate language. Nowadays, Bulgarian and Greek linguists as well as some linguists from other countries still consider Macedonian dialects as Bulgarian. Outside Bulgaria and Greece, Macedonian is generally considered an autonomous language within the South Slavic dialect continuum. Sociolinguists agree that the question whether Macedonian is a dialect of Bulgarian or a language is a political one and cannot be resolved on a purely linguistic basis, because dialect continua do not allow for either, or judgments. Topic. Alphabet In 886 AD, the Bulgarian Empire introduced the Glagolitic alphabet which was devised by the Saints Cyril and Methodius in the 850s. The Glagolitic alphabet was gradually superseded in later centuries by the Cyrillic script, developed around the Preslav Literary School, Bulgaria in the beginning of the 10th century. Several Cyrillic alphabets with 28 to 44 letters were used in the beginning and the middle of the 19th century during the efforts on the codification of modern Bulgarian until an alphabet with 32 letters, proposed by Marin Drinov, gained prominence in the 1870s. The alphabet of Marin Drinov was used until the orthographic reform of 1945, when the letters called it yat or Devojno e, e Devojno double e, and called Golamus big yus, Golama Nasovka big nasal sign. Kerstato Krostur or Sirocco, Longer, were removed from its alphabet, reducing the number of letters to 30. With the accession of Bulgaria to the European Union on 1 January 2007, Cyrillic became the third official script of the European Union, following the Latin and Greek scripts. Phonology 
Bulgarian possesses a phonology similar to that of the rest of the South Slavic languages, notably lacking Serbo-Croatian's phonemic vowel length and tones and alveopalatal affricates. The Eastern dialects exhibit palatalization of consonants before front vowels and i, and reduction of vowel phonemes in unstressed position, causing mergers of and i and u a and. Both patterns have partial parallels in Russian and lead to a partly similar sound. The Western dialects are like Macedonian and Serbo-Croatian in that they do not have allophonic palatalization and have only little vowel reduction. Bulgarian has six vowel phonemes, but at least eight distinct phones can be distinguished when reduced allophones are taken into consideration. Topic. Grammar The parts of speech in Bulgarian are divided in ten types, which are categorized in two broad classes, mutable and immutable. The difference is that mutable parts of speech vary grammatically, whereas the immutable ones do not change, regardless of their use. The five classes of mutables are, nouns, adjectives, numerals, pronouns and verbs. Syntactically, the first four of these form the group of the noun or the nominal group. The immutables are, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, particles and interjections. Verbs and adverbs form the group of the verb or the verbal group. Topic. Nominal morphology Nouns and adjectives have the categories grammatical gender, number, case only vocative and definiteness in Bulgarian. Adjectives and adjectival pronouns agree with nouns in number and gender. Pronouns have gender and number and retain as in nearly all Indo-European languages a more significant part of the case system. Topic: Nominal inflection. Topic: Gender. There are 3 grammatical genders in Bulgarian: masculine, feminine and neuter. The gender of the noun can largely be inferred from its ending. Nouns ending in a consonant, zero ending are generally masculine for example, grad rat, city, sin sin, son, ems per meter, man, those ending in a, a, a ya, zina na, woman, desera dieter ya, daughter, ulica ulitz, street are normally feminine, and nouns ending in e, o are almost always neuter, deet d, child, a zero zero, lake, as are those rare words usually loanwords that end in i, u and u, kunami so nami, tsunami, tabu t bu, tabu, menu per meter nju, menu. Perhaps the most significant exception from the above are the relatively numerous nouns that end in a consonant and yet are feminine. These comprise, firstly, a large group of nouns with zero ending expressing quality, degree or an abstraction, including all nouns ending on ost, est ost, est, emdrost, emdrost, wisdom, nizost, nizost, vileness, prelest, prelst, loveliness, bolest, bielst, sickness, labav ljubf, bf, love, and secondly, a much smaller group of irregular nouns with zero ending which define tangible objects or concepts, crove cref, blood, cost cased, bone, vesser vienter, evening, nose, night. There are also some commonly used words that end in a vowel and yet are masculine, bossa father, dado grandfather, sicko vuyo uncle, and others. The plural forms of the nouns do not express their gender as clearly as the singular ones, but may also provide some clues to it. The ending I, I is more likely to be used with a masculine or feminine noun, facti facti, facts, belesti bielsti, sicknesses, while one in a, a belongs more often to a neuter noun, azera z ra, lakes. Also, the plural ending ove, ove, occurs only in masculine nouns. Topic. Number Two numbers are distinguished in Bulgarian, singular and plural. A variety of plural suffixes is used, and the choice between them is partly determined by their ending in singular and partly influenced by gender. In addition, irregular declension and alternative plural forms are common. Words ending in a, a which are usually feminine, generally have the plural ending i, upon dropping of the singular ending. Of nouns ending in a consonant, the feminine ones also use i, whereas the masculine ones usually have i for polysyllables and ove for monosyllables however, exceptions are especially common in this group. Nouns ending in o, e most of which are neuter mostly use the suffixes a, a both of which require the dropping of the singular endings and ta. 
with cardinal numbers and related words such as nikolko several, masculine nouns use a special count form in A, a which stems from the Proto-Slavonic dual, dva tri stola two, three chairs versus tezi stola of these chairs, cf, feminine div, tri tezi nigi two, three, these books and neuter div, tri tezi legla two, three, these beds. However, a recently developed language norm requires that count forms should only be used with masculine nouns that do not denote persons. Thus, Devama Trima Usenisi 2, 3 students is perceived as more correct than Devama Trima Usenika while the distinction is retained in cases such as Dva Tri Maliva 2, 3 pencils versus Tezi Malivi these pencils. Topic. Case Cases exist only in the personal and some other pronouns as they do in many other modern Indo-European languages, with nominative, accusative, dative and vocative forms. Vestiges are present in a number of phraseological units and sayings. The major exception are vocative forms, which are still in use for masculine with the endings e, o and u and feminine nouns, j, o and e in the singular. Topic. Definiteness article. In modern Bulgarian, definiteness is expressed by a definite article which is postfixed to the noun, much like in the Scandinavian languages or Romanian indefinite, kovic person, definite, kovic the person, or to the first nominal constituent of definite noun phrases indefinite, dober kovic a good person, definite, dobria kovic the good person. There are four singular definite articles. Again, the choice between them is largely determined by the nouns ending in the singular. Nouns that end in a consonant and are masculine use t, at when they are grammatical subjects, and a, a elsewhere. Nouns that end in a consonant and are feminine, as well as nouns that end in a, a most of which are feminine, to, use ta. Nouns that end in e, o use to. The plural definite article is te for all nouns except for those whose plural form ends in a, a these get ta instead. When postfixed to adjectives the definite articles are at, a for masculine gender again, with the longer form being reserved for grammatical subjects, ta for feminine gender, to for neuter gender, and te for plural. Modern developments In Bulgarian adjective noun phrases, only the adjective takes a definite article ending Chervenata masa, the red table Cherveniet stole, the red chairmany of the English loanwords which have been adopted into the language since the end of communism, however, do not readily lend themselves to taking adjectival endings. This has caused an unprecedented shift in the language whereby, in certain cases, the adjective remains uninflected, while the noun following it takes the grammatical ending. Examples include Internet Potterbytelight, the Internet users, Web stranet site, the web pages This type of combination is sometimes favored even when the possibility of a traditional phrase structure exists, e.g. BTV Novanite, the BTV News, as opposed to Novanite Po BTV, the news on BTV. In this case, the brand name, BTV, cannot be inflected and, being a brand, remains in Roman script within the sentence. See use of Roman script in Bulgarian Topic. Adjective and numeral inflection Both groups agree in gender and number with the noun they are appended to. They may also take the definite article as explained above. Topic. Pronouns Pronouns may vary in gender, number, and definiteness, and are the only parts of speech that have retained case inflections. Three cases are exhibited by some groups of pronouns, nominative, accusative and dative. The distinguishable types of pronouns include the following, personal, relative, reflexive, interrogative, negative, indefinitive, summative and possessive. Topic. Verbal morphology and grammar The Bulgarian verb can take up to 3,000 distinct forms, as it varies in person, number, voice, aspect, mood, tense and even gender. Topic. Finite verbal forms Finite verbal forms are simple or compound and agree with subjects in person first, second and third and number singular, plural. In addition to that, past compound forms using participles vary in gender masculine, feminine, neuter and voice active and passive as well as aspect perfective, aorist and imperfective. 
Topic. Aspect Bulgarian verbs express lexical aspect. Perfective verbs signify the completion of the action of the verb and form past perfective aorist forms. Imperfective ones are neutral with regard to it and form past imperfective forms. Most Bulgarian verbs can be grouped in perfective imperfective pairs imperfective, perfective, idvamda to come, pristigum pristinya, arrive. Perfective verbs can be usually formed from imperfective ones by suffixation or prefixation, but the resultant verb often deviates in meaning from the original. In the pair examples above, aspect is stem-specific and therefore there is no difference in meaning. In Bulgarian, there is also grammatical aspect. Three grammatical aspects are distinguishable, neutral, perfect and pluperfect. The neutral aspect comprises the three simple tenses and the future tense. The pluperfect is manifest in tenses that use double or triple auxiliary B participles like the past pluperfect subjunctive. Perfect constructions use a single auxiliary B. Topic. Mood The traditional interpretation is that in addition to the four moods, Niklonini and Niklonij, shared by most other European languages, indicative, izavitelno izvitno, imperative, pavolitelno pova litelno, subjunctive, podsinitelno pati nitno, and conditional, uslavno o sivno. In Bulgarian there is one more to describe a general category of unwitnessed events, the inferential, priiskazno pr iskazno, mood. However, most contemporary Bulgarian linguists usually exclude the subjunctive mood and the inferential mood from the list of Bulgarian moods, thus placing the number of Bulgarian moods at a total of three: indicative, imperative, and conditional, and don't consider them to be moods but view them as verbial morphosyntactic constructs or separate grammemes of the verb class. The possible existence of a few other moods has been discussed in the literature. Most Bulgarian school grammars teach the traditional view of four Bulgarian moods as described above, but excluding the subjunctive and including the inferential. Topic. Tense There are three grammatically distinctive positions in time, present, past and future, which combine with aspect and mood to produce a number of formations. Normally, in grammar books these formations are viewed as separate tenses, I. E past imperfect would mean that the verb is in past tense in the imperfective aspect and in the indicative mood since no other mood is shown there are more than 40 different tenses across bulgarian's two aspects and five moods in the indicative mood there are three simple tenses present tense is a temporally unmarked simple form made up of the verbal stem and a complex suffix composed of the thematic vowel i or a and the person number ending pristigum pri stime I arrive, I am arriving. Only imperfective verbs can stand in the present indicative tense independently. Past imperfect is a simple verb form used to express an action which is contemporaneous or subordinate to other past actions. It is made up of an imperfective or a perfective verbal stem and the person, number ending, pristiga pri sticks, pristine pri stinks, I was arriving. Past aorist is a simple form used to express a temporarily independent, specific past action. It is made up of a perfective or an imperfective verbal stem and the person, number ending, pristina pri stinks, I arrived, seto talks, I read. In the indicative there are also the following compound tenses. Future tense is a compound form made of the particle say, and present tense, say yuka, ute, I will study. Negation is expressed by the construction nama da, am di, and present tense, nama da yuka am di ute, or the old fashioned form ne say yuka, n, ute, I will not study. Past future tense is a compound form used to express an action which was to be completed in the past but was future as regards another past action, it is made up of the past imperfect of the verb sa. Will, the particle da, d, to, and the present tense of the verb, e.g., sa da yuka, ax d ut, I was going to study. Present perfect is a compound form used to express an action which was completed in the past but is relevant for or related to the present, it is made up of the present tense of the verb sum, sum, be, and the past participle, e.g., sum usul, sum ut, I have studied. Past perfect is a compound form used to express an action which was completed in the past and is relative to another past action, it is made up of the past tense of the verb sum and the past participle e.g. ba usul, b ax ut, I had studied. 
Future perfect is a compound form used to express an action which is to take place in the future before another future action. It is made up of the future tense of the verb sum and the past participle, e.g., say sum usul, sum ut, I will have studied. Past future perfect is a compound form used to express a past action which is future with respect to a past action which itself is prior to another past action. It is made up of the past imperfect of saw, the particle da the present tense of the verb sum and the past participle of the verb e.g. sa da sum usul, ax d sum ut, I would have studied. The four perfect constructions above can vary in aspect depending on the aspect of the main verb participle, they are in fact pairs of imperfective and perfective aspects. Verbs in forms using past participles also vary in voice and gender. There is only one simple tense in the imperative mood, the present, and there are simple forms only for the second person singular, ij, y, i, and plural, eat j e t e, y t e, e g yuka, ut, to study, uchi o t, s g, usit o, place, igra iraj, to play, igraj i raj, igraj to i raj. There are compound imperative forms for all persons and numbers in the present compound imperative, da i gre da i re, the present perfect compound imperative, da e i gril d i ra, and the rarely used present pluperfect compound imperative, da e bil i gril d, bil i ra. The conditional mood consists of five compound tenses, most of which are not grammatically distinguishable. The present, future and past conditional use a special past form of the stem by, by b and the past participle, be usul bix ut, I would study. The past future conditional and the past future perfect conditional coincide in form with the respective indicative tenses. The subjunctive mood is rarely documented as a separate verb form in Bulgarian, being, morphologically, a sub-instance of the quasi-infinitive construction with the particle da and a normal finite verb form, but nevertheless it is used regularly. The most common form, often mistaken for the present tense, is the present subjunctive po dobre da otida pudober di o tid, I had better go. The difference between the present indicative and the present subjunctive tense is that the subjunctive can be formed by both perfective and imperfective verbs. It has completely replaced the infinitive and the supine from complex expressions see below. It is also employed to express opinion about possible future events. The past perfect subjunctive po dobre da ba odizel pudober db ax o til, I'd had better be gone refers to possible events in the past, which did not take place, and the present pluperfect subjunctive da sum bil odizel d sum bil o til, which may be used about both past and future events arousing feelings of incontinence, suspicion, etc. and has no perfect to English translation. The inferential mood has five pure tenses. Two of them are simple, past aorist inferential and past imperfect inferential, and are formed by the past participles of perfective and imperfective verbs, respectively. There are also three compound tenses, past future inferential, past future perfect inferential and past perfect inferential. All these tenses forms are gender-specific in the singular. There are also conditional and compound imperative crossovers. The existence of inferential forms has been attributed to Turkic influences by most Bulgarian linguists. Morphologically, they are derived from the perfect. Non-finite verbal forms Bulgarian has the following participles Present active participle segasno detailno prikasti is formed from imperfective stems with the addition of the suffixes as, s as seed as reading and is used only attributively. Present passive participle segasno stratitelno prikasti is formed by the addition of the suffixes im, am, uum, sedum that can be read, readable. Past active aorist participle manalos verseno detailno prikasti is formed by the addition of the suffix l to perfective stems, sel have read. Past active imperfect participle manalo nesverseno detailno prikasti is formed by the addition of the suffixes l, al, al to imperfective stems, cetal have been reading. Past passive aorist participle manalo sverseno stratitelno prikasti is formed from aorist, perfective stems with the addition of the suffixes n, t proceton read, ubit killed, it is used predicatively and attributively. Past passive imperfect participle manalo nesverseno stratitelno prikasti is formed from imperfective stems with the addition of the suffix n, prositin bin read, ubivin bin being killed, it is used predicatively and attributively. 
Adverbial participle deprikasti is usually formed from imperfective present stems with the suffix, e.g. sitejki while reading, relates an action contemporaneous with and subordinate to the main verb and is originally a Western Bulgarian form. The participles are inflected by gender, number, and definiteness, and are coordinated with the subject when forming compound tenses see tenses above. When used in attributive role the inflection attributes are coordinated with the noun that is being attributed. Topic. Reflexive verbs Bulgarian uses reflexive verbal forms i.e. actions which are performed by the agent unto him or herself which behave in a similar way as they do in many other Indo-European languages, such as French and Spanish. The reflexive is expressed by the invariable particle say, originally a clitic form of the accusative reflexive pronoun. Thus, Mia, I wash, Mia say, I wash myself, Mish say, you wash yourself. Pitam, I ask, Pitam say, I ask myself, Patash say, you ask yourself. And the action is performed on others. Other particles are used, just like in any normal verb, e.g., Mia te, I wash you. Patash me, you ask me sometimes. The reflexive verb form has a similar but not necessarily identical meaning to the non reflexive verb. Kazvam, I say, Kazvam say, my name is lit. I call myself. Visdom, I see, Visdome say, we see ourselves, or we meet each other. In other cases, the reflexive verb has a completely different meaning from its non reflexive counterpart. Karam, to drive, Karam say, to have a row with someone. Gotvya, to cook, Gotvya say, to get ready. Smeya, to dare, smeya say, to laugh and direct actions when the action is performed on an indirect object, the particles change to see and its derivatives. Kazvam c, I say to myself, kazvish c, you say to yourself, kazvam t, I say to you. Paya c, I am singing to myself, p c, she is singing to herself, p mu, she is singing to him. Gotvya c, I cook for myself, gotvya c, they cook for themselves, gotvya im, I cook for the man some cases, the particle c is ambiguous between the indirect object and the possessive meaning. Mia c ratset, I wash my hands, mia t ratset, I wash your hands. Pitam c priatlite, I ask my friends, pitam t priatlite, I ask your friends. Iskam c topkata, I want my ball back. The difference between transitive and intransitive verbs can lead to significant differences in meaning with minimal change, e.g. Hersvash me, you like me, hersvash me, I like you, lit, you are pleasing to me. Otivam, I am going, otivam c, I am going home. Particle c is often used to indicate a more personal relationship to the action, e.g. Hersvam go, I like him, hersvam c go, no precise translation, roughly translates as. He's really close to my heart. Stanami Priateli, we became friends. Stanami C Priateli, same meaning, but sounds friendlier. Mislia, I am thinking, usually about something serious. Mislia C, same meaning, but usually about something personal and or trivial. Topic. Adverbs The most productive way to form adverbs is to derive them from the neuter singular form of the corresponding adjective, e.g. berzo fast, silno hard, strano strange. But adjectives ending in key use the masculine singular form, i.e. ending in key, instead, e.g. unaski heroically, miski bravely, like a man, maistorski skillfully. The same pattern is used to form adverbs from the adjective-like ordinal numerals, e.g. pravo firstly, vitoro secondly, tredo thirdly, and in some cases from adjective-like cardinal numerals, e.g. devojno twice as, double, trojno three times as, petorno five times as. The remaining adverbs are formed in ways that are no longer productive in the language. A small number are original, not derived from other words, for example, tuck here, tam there, viter inside, vn outside, no go very, much, etc. The rest are mostly fossilized case forms, such as archaic locative forms of some adjectives, e.g. dobre well, zali badly, tiverd to, rather, and nouns gore up, utra tomorrow, leet in the summer. Archaic instrumental forms of some adjectives, e.g. tihom quietly, skrism furtively, slepeskum blindly, and nouns, e.g. denim during the day, nosum during the night, redum one next to the other, duhum spiritually, sifrum in figures, slovum with words, or verbs, ticheskum while running, lezeskum while lying, stoskum while standing. 
archaic accusative forms of some nouns, dines today, noses tonight, sutran in the morning, zim zims in winter. Archaic genitive forms of some nouns, duvisera tonight, snowsy last night, visera yesterday. Homonymous and etymologically identical to the feminine singular form of the corresponding adjective used with the definite article, zadravada hard, slepskata gropingly, the same pattern has been applied to some verbs, e.g. tyskata while running, leziskata while lying, stoskata while standing. Derived from cardinal numerals by means of a non-productive suffix, vens once, divas twice, tris thrice, adverbs can sometimes be reduplicated to emphasize the qualitative or quantitative properties of actions, moods or relations as performed by the subject of the sentence, bavno bavno, rather slowly, edva edva, with great difficulty, svasem svasem, quite, thoroughly. Topic. Syntax Bulgarian employs clitic doubling, mostly for emphatic purposes. For example, the following constructions are common in colloquial Bulgarian. As go dato padarka na Maria lit. I gave it the present to Maria. As I go dato padarka na Maria lit. I gave her it the present to Maria. The phenomenon is practically obligatory in the spoken language in the case of inversion signaling information structure in writing. Clitic doubling may be skipped in such instances, with a somewhat bookish effect. Padarka I go dato na Maria lit. The present to her it I gave to Maria. Na Maria I go dato padarka. Lit. To Maria to her it I gave the present. Sometimes, the doubling signals syntactic relations, thus. Petr i Ivan G. Isido a Vielsite lit. Petr and Ivan them ate the wolves. Transl. Petr and Ivan were eaten by the wolves. This is contrasted with Petr i Ivan Isido a Vielsite lit. Petr and Ivan ate the wolves. Transl. Petr and Ivan ate the wolves. In this case, clitic doubling can be a colloquial alternative of the more formal or bookish passive voice, which would be constructed as follows. Petr i Ivan Baha Izadani at Vielsite lit. Petr and Ivan were eaten by the wolves. Clitic doubling is also fully obligatory, both in the spoken and in the written norm, in clauses including several special expressions that use the short accusative and dative pronouns such as I gray me say I feel like playing, studeno me e I am cold, and boli me or kata my arm hurts. Na men me say spi e na Ivan mu say I gray lit. To me to me it feels like sleeping, and to Ivan to him it feels like playing. Transl. I feel like sleeping, and Ivan feels like playing. Na nas ni e studeno a na vas ve toplo lit. To us to us it is cold, and to you plur, to you plur, it is warm. Transl. We are cold, and you are warm. Ivan go boli griloto a mean me boli glavita lit. Ivan him aches the throat, and Mimi aches the head. Transl, Ivan has sore throat, and I have a headache, except the above examples. Clitic doubling is considered inappropriate in a formal context. Bulgarian grammars usually do not treat this phenomenon extensively. Other features Questions Questions in Bulgarian which do not use a question word such as who, what, etc. are formed with the particle li after the verb, a subject is not necessary, as the verbal conjugation suggests who is performing the action. Idvas you are coming. Idvas li are you coming? While the particle li generally goes after the verb, it can go after a noun or adjective if a contrast is needed. Idvas li s na are you coming with us? S nas li are you coming with us? A verb is not always necessary, e.g. when presenting a choice. Taj li him, zil she at li the yellow one. Rhetorical questions can be formed by adding li to a question word, thus forming a double interrogative. Koj hu, koj li I wonder who, the same construction plus ne no is an emphasized positive. Koj beast who was there, koj li nearly everyone, lit. I wonder who wasn't there. Topic. Significant verbs Sum the verb sum, sum, to be, is also used as an auxiliary for forming the perfect, the passive and the conditional Past tense, o dari sum, I have hit 
Passive, oh darn sum, I am hit Past passive, bx oh darn, I was hit Conditional, bix o oh daryl, I would hit it to oh alternate forms of sum exist. Bda bd, interchangeable with sum in most tenses and moods, but never in the present indicative, e.g., iscum d bd, I want to be, bd tuck, I will be here, in the imperative, only bda is used, bd tuck, be here. Bivam bivam, slightly archaic, imperfective form of bda e.g., biv za plan, he used to get threats, in contemporary usage, it is mostly used in the negative to mean, ought not. E.g., n biv d pui, you shouldn't smoke. Say the impersonal verb say lit. It wants is used to performing the positive future tense. O tivum, I am going. O tivum, I will be going. The negative future is formed with the invariable construction nama da, am di, see nama below. Am di o tivum, I will not be going. The past tense of this verb sa, ax, is conjugated to form the past conditional would have again, with da, since it is a realis. X d o tid, I would have gone, da o did, you would have gone, imam and namam. The verbs imam, im, to have, and namam, am, to not have. The third person singular of these two can be used impersonally to mean there is, there are, or there isn't, aren't any, e.g. im verm, there is still time, compare Spanish hey, am nicoo, there is no one there. The impersonal form nama is used in the negative future, see say above. Nama used on its own can mean simply I won't a simple refusal to a suggestion or instruction. Topic. Diminutives and augmentatives Diminutive Usually done by adding C, C or C. The first two of these change the gender to the neuter. Cola, car, co-lit, baby's buggy. Kit K or Kate, cat, catance, kitten, affectionate form. Sometimes proper nouns and words referring to friends or family members can have a diminutive ending added to show affection. These constructions are all referred to as nagaleno, lit, caressing, form. Mica, mother, machitsi, tatko, father, tatansisich words can be used both from parent to child, and vice versa, as can batko, big brother, patensi, priatel, friend, priatelch, personal names are shortened. Georgi Gosho, Gotsi, Mihail Misho, Angel Gel, Acho, Ivan Vanko, Vasil Vasco, Anna Ani, Irina Rena. There is an interesting trend which is comparatively modern, although it might well have deeper, dormant roots where the feminine ending, ka, and the definite suffix, ta, the, are added to male names. Note that this is affectionate and not at all insulting, in fact, the endings are not even really considered as being feminine. Ivan Vankata, Acho Achkata, the female equivalent would be to add the neuter ending to, to the diminutive form Nadia Nadetto, Sonia Sanchito augmentative. This is to present words to sound larger, usually by adding S-H-T-E. Chovic person, Chovicist, huge person, note the root change K-C-H, some words only exist in an augmentative form, e.g. Zarelist, awesome, spectacle. From the Old Slavic root, to see. Svlachisht, landslide. From Svlichum, to drag down. Topic. Conjunctions and particles. But. In Bulgarian, there are several conjunctions all translating into English as, but, which are all used in distinct situations. They are no, no, ama, ama, a, uh, ami, ami, and ala, ala, and obachi, obash. However, identical in use to no. While there is some overlapping between their uses, in many cases they are specific. For example, ami is used for a choice, ne tova, ami anova, not this one, but that one. Comp. Spanish sino, while ama is often used to provide extra information or an opinion, casago, ama es grecia, I said it, but I was wrong. Meanwhile, a provides contrast between two situations, and in some sentences can even be translated as although, while, or even, and, as robotia, a toy blee, I'm working, and he's daydreaming. Very often, different words can be used to alter the emphasis of a sentence, e.g. while, pusha, no ne triadva, and pusha, a ne triadva, both mean, I smoke, but I shouldn't. The first sounds more like a statement of fact. 
dot but I mustn't, while the second feels more like a judgment. Dot but I oughtn't. Similarly, as ne iskam, ama toy iska and as ne iskam, a toy iska both mean, I don't want to, but he does. However the first emphasizes the fact that he wants to, while the second emphasizes the wanting rather than the person. Allah is interesting in that, while it feels archaic, it is often used in poetry and frequently in children's stories, since it has quite a moral, ominous feel to it. Some common expressions use these words, and some can be used alone as interjections. Da, amane, lit. Yes, but no, means, you're wrong to think so. Ama can be tagged onto a sentence to express surprise, ama toy spi. He's sleeping. Ami. You don't say. Really. Vocative particles. Bulgarian has several abstract particles which are used to strengthen a statement. These have no precise translation in English. The particles are strictly informal and can even be considered rude by some people and in some situations. They are mostly used at the end of questions or instructions. BB the most common particle. It can be used to strengthen a statement or, sometimes, to indicate derision of an opinion, aided by the tone of voice, originally purely masculine. It can now be used towards both men and women. Kazi me, B, tell me, insistence, taka li, B. Is that so? Derisive, Bjarno li, B. You don't say. Dada expresses urgency, sometimes pleading. Stave, da. Come on, get up. Ma ma feminine only originally simply the feminine counterpart of b, but today perceived as rude and derisive compare the similar evolution of the vocative forms of feminine names bri bri, masculine, mari mari, feminine similar to b and ma, but archaic. Although informal, can sometimes be heard being used by older people. Modal particles These are tagged onto the beginning or end of a sentence to express the mood of the speaker in relation to the situation. They are mostly interrogative or slightly imperative in nature. There is no change in the grammatical mood when these are used although they may be expressed through different grammatical moods in other languages. Nali nali is a universal affirmative tag, like, isn't it? Won't you? etc. It is invariable, like the French ne ce pas. It can be placed almost anywhere in the sentence, and does not always require a verb. Shte doidesh, nali? You are coming, aren't you, Nali Iskaha? Didn't they want to, Nali Anzi? That one, right? It can express quite complex thoughts through simple constructions, Nali Nyamash? I thought you weren't going to. Or, I thought there weren't any. Depending on context, the verb Nyama presents general negation, lacking, see, Nyama. Above, Dali Dali expresses uncertainty if in the middle of a clause, can be translated as, weather. E.g. Dali shte doid? Do you think he will come? Nima Nima presents disbelief tilde. Don't tell me that. E.g. Nima Iskash. Don't tell me you want to. It is slightly archaic, but still in use. Can be used on its own as an interjection, Nima. Dano Dano expresses hope, shte doid. He will come. Dano doid. I hope he comes. Comp. Spanish Oyala. Grammatically, dano is entirely separate from the verb nadiavam say, to hope. Nika Nika means, let s, e.g. Nika doid, let him come. When used in the first person, it expresses extreme politeness, Nika da otidam. Let us go. In colloquial situations, hade, below, is used instead. Nika, as an interjection, can also be used to express judgment or even schadenfreude, nika mu. He deserves it. Intentional particles. These express intent or desire, perhaps even pleading. They can be seen as a sort of cohortative side to the language, since they can be used by themselves, they could even be considered as verbs in their own right, they are also highly informal. Hodge hade. Come on. Let's. E.g. Hade, Po Barzo, faster. A ya, let me, exclusively when asking someone else for something. It can even be used on its own as a request or instruction, depending on the tone used, indicating that the speaker wants to partake in or try whatever the listener is doing. Ya da vidya, let me see, ya, or ya. Let me. Give me.
Nedige can be used to issue a negative instruction, e.g. nedi da idvash, don't come, nedi plus subjunctive. In some dialects, the construction nedi idva nedi plus preterite is used instead. As an interjection, nede, don't. See section on imperative mood. These particles can be combined with the vocative particles for greater effect, e.g. yada vidya, be let me see, or even exclusively in combinations with them, with no other elements, e.g. hade, da. Come on, nedi, da. I told you not to. Topic. Pronouns of quality Bulgarian has several pronouns of quality which have no direct parallels in English: kakov, what sort of, takov, this sort of, onakov, that sort of, kolok, nyakakov, some sort of, nakakov, no sort of, visakakov, every sort of, and the relative pronoun kakavtu, the sort of, that. The adjective ednakov, the same, derives from the same radical. Example phrases include: kakov chovik, what person? kakov chovik e toy. What sort of person is he? Ne poznavam takov. I don't know any people like that. Lit. I don't know this sort of person. Nyakakvi hora. Lit. Some type of people. But the understood meaning is. A bunch of people I don't know. Visakakvi hora. All sorts of people. Kakov iskash. Which type do you want? Nikakov. I don't want any. None. An interesting phenomenon is that these can be strung along one after another in quite long constructions, e.g. An extreme colloquial sentence, with almost no physical meaning in it whatsoever, yet which does have perfect meaning to the Bulgarian ear, would be Kakva e teya takava edna nyakakva nikakva? Inferred translation. What kind of no good person is she? Literal translation. What kind of, is, this one here, she, this sort of, one, some sort of, no sort of. Note, the subject of the sentence is simply the pronoun, teya, lit, this one here, colloque, she. Another interesting phenomenon that is observed in colloquial speech is the use of takova, neuter of takiv, not only as a substitute for an adjective, but also as a substitute for a verb. In that case the base form takova is used as the third person singular in the present indicative and all other forms are formed by analogy to other verbs in the language. Sometimes the verb may even acquire a derivational prefix that changes its meaning. Examples Takova t shapkata, I did something to your hat, perhaps, I took your hat. Takova c ochilata, I did something to my glasses, perhaps, I lost my glasses. Takova say, I did something to myself, perhaps, I hurt myself. Another use of takova in colloquial speech is the word takovata, which can be used as a substitution for a noun, but also, if the speaker doesn't remember or is not sure how to say something, they might say takovata and then pause to think about it. I posal toy takovata. And then he, no translation. Iziado t takovata, I ate something of yours, perhaps, I ate your dessert. Here the word takovada is used as a substitution for a noun, similar, meaningless. Expressions are extremely common in spoken Bulgarian, especially when the speaker is finding it difficult to describe something. Topic. Inflection and derivation Bulgarian has a rich set of inflectional and derivational processes. In the simplest terms, this can be seen in the way that most nouns and verbs are formed, namely by adding prefixes and suffixes to a rather limited number of roots, which creates almost a dozen new words, along with a couple of dozen derivatives thereof. Here are some examples using the root word kluch, kla, key, switch. Nouns Adjectives Verbs An extreme example using this root might be pre v kluch n i te the ones that have been switched over. Prevklusonite. Adjectives can also take up to three endings that are added to the masculine root, for example, verbs can take several prefixes, thus expressing increasingly complex ideas. For example, the bol root, which has to do with ailments bol ka, pain, bol est, illness, bol i, it hurts, etc. can be used to express various different stages of falling ill. Similarly, the root kri, referring to hiding, discovery, Topic. Miscellaneous 
The commonly cited phenomenon of Bulgarian people shaking their head for yes and nodding for no is true but, with the influence of Western culture, ever rarer, and almost non-existent among the younger generation, it should be noted, however, that the shaking and nodding are not identical to the Western gestures. The nod for no is actually an upward movement of the head rather than a downward one, while the shaking of the head for yes is not completely horizontal, but also has a slight wavy aspect to it. A dental click, similar to the English tisk, also means no. Informal, as does the only occurrence in Bulgarian of the glottal stop. The two are often said with the upward nod. Bulgarian has an extensive vocabulary covering family relationships. The biggest range of words is for uncles and aunts, e.g. Chicho, your father's brother, Vusho, your mother's brother, Svako, your aunt's husband. An even larger number of synonyms for these three exists in the various dialects of Bulgarian, including Kaleko, Lelincho, Tetan, etc. The words do not only refer to the closest members of the family such as brat, brother, but batko, bait, older brother, sestra, sister, but kaka, older sister, but extend to its furthest reaches, e.g. badjanak from Turkish bakanak the relationship of the husbands of two sisters to each other and etarva the relationships of two brothers' wives to each other. For all in-laws, there are specific names, e.g. a woman's husband's brother is her dever and her husband's sister is her zalva. In the traditional rural extended family before 1900, there existed separate subcategories for different brothers-in-law, sisters-in-law of a woman with regard to their age relative to hers, e.g. instead of simply a dever there could be a braino older, a draginko younger, or an yubavenkyo who is still a child. As with many Slavic languages, the double negative in Bulgarian is grammatically correct, while some forms of it, when used instead of a single negative form, are grammatically incorrect. The following are literal translations of grammatically correct Bulgarian sentences that utilize a double or multiple negation. Nikaj nikdi nikoga niso ne i napravil. Multiple negation without the use of a compound double negative form, i.e. using a listing of several successive single negation words. Nobody never nowhere nothing did not do. Translated as. Nobody has ever done anything, anywhere. Nikoga ne sum bil tam. Double negation without the use of a compound double negative form, i.e. using a listing of several successive single negation words I never did not go there. I have never been there. Nikoga nikakvi kuvistva ne sum imel. I never know feelings had not have. I have never had any feelings. The same applies for Macedonian. Lexis <laughs> <laughs> Most of the vocabulary of modern Bulgarian consists of terms inherited from Proto-Slavic and local Bulgarian innovations and formations of those through the mediation of Old and Middle Bulgarian. Thus, the native lexical terms in Bulgarian account for 70% to 80% of the lexicon. The remaining 25% to 30% are loanwords from a number of languages, as well as derivations of such words. Bulgarian adopted also a few words of Thracian and Bulgar origin. The languages which have contributed most to Bulgarian are Russian, French and to a lesser extent English and Ottoman Turkish. Also Latin and Greek are the source of many words, used mostly in international terminology. Many Latin terms entered the language through Romanian, Aramanian, and Megleno-Romanian during Bulgarian empires present-day Bulgaria was part of Roman Empire. Loanwords of Greek origin in Bulgarian are a product of the influence of the liturgical language of the Orthodox Church. Many of the numerous loanwords from another Turkic language, Ottoman Turkish and, via Ottoman Turkish, from Arabic and Persian which were adopted into Bulgarian during the long period of Ottoman rule, have been replaced with native terms. In addition, both specialized usually coming from the field of science and commonplace English words notably abstract, commodity, service-related or technical terms have also penetrated Bulgarian since the second half of the 20th century, especially since 1989. A noteworthy portion of this English-derived terminology has attained some unique features in the process of its introduction to native speakers, and this has resulted in peculiar derivations that set the newly formed loanwords apart from the original words mainly in pronunciation, although many loanwords are completely identical to the source words. A growing number of international neologisms are also being widely adopted, causing controversy between younger generations who, in general, are raised in the era of digital globalization, and the older, more conservative educated purists. 
Prior to standardization in the 19th century, after a period of Ottoman Turkish as a lingua franca for about five centuries, vernacular Bulgarian is estimated to have been consisted of 50% Ottoman vocabulary, which contained predominantly up to 80% Arabic and Persian words. Topic: <laughs> Comparison with other Slavic languages. Most Slavic languages demonstrate a higher degree of shared vocabulary with one another than English does with the Germanic family due to the number of Romance loans in English on the one hand, and on the other hand due to the influences on Slavic languages of Russian or Church Slavonic, which was a Southeast Slavic language. The adoption of Church Slavonic morphology and vocabulary was used to enrich other Slavic languages. It is especially pronounced in Russian, which today consists of mixed native and church Slavonic South Slavic vocabulary, analogically to the Romance vocabulary of English, but in Russian the church Slavonisms are not perceived as foreign due to their Slavic roots. An estimated 55% of Russian, INCL. Vocabulary, syntactic features, etc. goes back to the church Slavonic language, known as Old Bulgarian, while 70% of church Slavonic words are common to all Slavic languages. Some authors argue that the Southeast Slavic language Church Slavonic is the Pasky to the Russian nation and language. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Borrowings. As of the beginning of the 1960s, loanwords amounted to some 25% of the vocabulary of the Standard Dictionary of Bulgarian. The most important source of loanwords in recent centuries has been Russian. Two other important sources of borrowing were Latin and Greek, each accounting for around a quarter of all borrowings, more specifically, Latin around 26% and Greek around 23%. French vocabulary contribution to the Bulgarian language totals around 15% and Ottoman Turkish along with Arabic and Persian totaled around 14%, whereas loanwords from Russian accounted for 10% of the borrowings. Lesser but still significant influence was exerted by Italian around 4%, German around 4% and English around 2%. Some very frequent expressions have been borrowed from other languages. Most of them are somewhat informal. Mercy mercy thank you from French although this word is probably even more common than native. Blogadera. It is inappropriate in very official or solemn contexts. Sao ciao bye from Italian the informal counterpart of native. Dovizdane. This word is more common than the native. Super super super, from Latin, colloquial, note. Super remains the same regardless of quantity or gender, although an even more colloquial adjective superski, superski does decline as usual. Allo allo, hello on the phone, from French, unlike the above, this word is stylistically neutral. Topic. Common expressions. Zadrave zadrave informal singular hello Zadravahe zadravai plural or formal hello Zadrasti zadrasti hi Dobro utro dobro utro good morning Dobr den dobr den good day Dobr vesser dobr vecker good evening Lekanos leka nasht good night Dovizdane dovizdane goodbye Kaksek of K A K S E K A S V I S H informal what is your name Koj CT, Koi CT, informal, masculine, who are you? Koa CT, Koya CT, informal, feminine, who are you? Koj Stevi, Koi Stevi, formal, masculine. Koa Steve, Koya Stevi, formal, feminine, who are you? In the above two examples, the formal expression uses a plural verb but a singular pronoun, which allows speakers to distinguish the two grammatical forms. Koi Stevi. Koi stevi, plural form, who are you? Kak si, kak si, informal, how are you? Kak sti, kak ste, plural or formal, how are you? Da da, yes. Nay nay, no. Mos by mos by, maybe. Kakvo pravit, kakvo pravish, informal, what are you doing? Kakvo provite, kakvo provite, plural or formal, what are you doing? Dobre sum, dobre sum, I'm fine. Vesiko naj hubavo vesichko ne hubavo all the best Pazdravi pazdravi regards Blogadera blogaderi formal and informal thank you Mola malia please Mola malia or welcome 
Isvanet isvanite formal excuse me Isvinavaj isvaniave informal sorry Obikam te obicham te I love you Kolko e cast Kolko e chas t what's the time Govrit li govrit li do you speak angliski angliski english Blarski b l garski bulgarian Neski nemski german Polski polski polish Ruski ruski russian Holandski holandski dutch Svedski švedski swedish Griski grtski greek Serbski senior bski serbian Italianski italianski italian Ispanski ispanski spanish Frenski frenski french Japonski japonski japanese Kitaiski Kitaiski Chinese Koreski Koreiski Korean Arabski Arabski Arabic say say vidim skoro SHTE say vidim skoro we'll see each other soon say say vidim utra SHTE say vidim utra we'll see each other tomorrow topic see also Abstand and Ausbau languages Balkan Sprachbund Banat Bulgarian language Bulgarian name Orthodox Slavs Slavic language Greece Swadesh list of Slavic languages Torlakian dialect The Babel speech corpus French language influence on the Bulgarian language Topic Notes Topic References Topic Bibliography Pisani, Vittore, twenty twelve. Old Bulgarian language. Sofia, Bukovitsa. ISBN nine seven eight nine five four nine two eight five eight six four. Comrie, Bernard, Corbett, Greville G. nineteen ninety three. The Slavonic Languages. Routledge. ISBN 0 415 04755 2. Clagsted, Jr., Harold L. 1958, the Phonemic System of Colloquial Standard Bulgarian, American Association of Teachers of Slavic and East European Languages, pp. 42 54. Turns, Elmer, Vladimirova Butz, Tatyana. 1999. Bulgarian. Handbook of the International Phonetic Association, Cambridge University Press, pp. 55-57, ISBN 0-521-63751-1 Bodziev I. Doctor 1998 Grammatica na Suvremenia Blarski Nizovina Tom 1. Phonetica za of Vladimir 2004 Zavukovit v. Blarskia Ezek Krestev Boromir 1992 Grammatica za Vysitsky Pesav Petr 1999 Blarska Grammatica Vladimir I Georgiev, et al., eds. 1971-2011, Blarsky Etymologikan Rechnik Bulgarian Etymological Dictionary, I-7 Blarska Akademia na Nakai Topic. External links Linguistic reports Bulgarian at Omniglot Bulgarian Swadesh list of basic vocabulary words from Wiktionary's Swadesh list appendix. The Bulgarian language website with material to learn Bulgarian. Information about the linguistic classification of the Bulgarian language from Glottolog. The linguistic features of the Bulgarian language from Walls, the World Atlas of Language Structures online. Information about the Bulgarian language from the PHOIBLE project. Locale data summary for the Bulgarian language from Unicode's Clear Dictionaries Eurodict — Multilingual Bulgarian Dictionaries Rechnik — Info — Online Dictionary of the Bulgarian Language Rechko — Online Dictionary of the Bulgarian Language Bulgarian English Bulgarian Online Dictionary from SA Dictionary Online Dual English Bulgarian Dictionary Bulgarian Dictionary, from Webster's Dictionary Bulgarian bilingual dictionaries English Bulgarian bidirectional dictionary courses Bulgarian for beginners Unilang